Hi and welcome to this small overview of new features and changes in Mario Exchange Pack 5R5. We start off with some improvements to how artists can create merge nodes in the node graph. Selecting two regular nodes and pressing the M hotkey would always connect the two nodes to the base and over port. The same is now true for materials as well. Selecting two materials and pressing M will automatically create a multi-channel merge node for you and hook it up. Similar changes have been made to the way you can blend nodes and materials based on height information. You can now simply select two nodes, such as these two material nodes, and either press C to bring up the node creation hotbox, then choose the height blend item, or even faster, press the hotcake, Ctrl, Alt and H. Extension Pack will take care of hooking up the nodes and connections for you, and you can easily adjust the blend after that. One of the most requested features by NodeGraph users was the ability to be able to snap nodes to another node's position. Extension Pack 5R5 introduces new node alignment options, either via the right mouse click, alignment submenu, or the convenience hotkeys, Control Alt and the arrow keys. Selecting multiple nodes and executing an alignment, such as Control Alt and arrow up, will align all nodes to the highest position of any node in your selection. If your selection includes backdrops, the tools will automatically align backdrops with each other. And if only a single node is selected, you will automatically step through the different positions of the connected input and output nodes, while also taking into consideration the node ports that are connected. Also in the right mouse click menu of the node graph, you will find many new additions in the selection submenu. Those are standard MARI 4.7 and above options that previously were only accessible via hotkeys. Having them now in the menu as well allows you to quickly get familiar with them and learn their associated hotkeys. MARI 4.7 also introduces many new options for supporting drag and drop behavior that Extension Pack 5R5 now takes full advantage of. Most notably, dragging an image from the image manager into either a node graph or layer stack will now allow you to choose which node type to use the image in, via the dialog shown here. The most common node types are assigned to hotkeys 1 to 6. So for example, dragging an image into the layer stack and immediately pressing 1 will create an access projection layer for you with the image pre-signed. Another drag and drop improvement concerns the extension pack mask shelf, which now supports drag and drop into the layer stack as well, the same way it always supported it before for the node graph. Finally, drag and drop improvements have also been made when working with color swatches. Dragging a color swatch from the shelf or the background foreground color picker into the node graph or layer stack will create a fill layer for you in one step. Speaking of the new MARI 4.7 shelf, the shelf from folder option is now back in the UI for the new shelf as well. It now also has full support for shelf groups, along with many small improvements. The existing material templates and grunt shelf have now also been grouped in the shelf under an extension pack label, and new textures have been added to the grunt shelf. The channel exporter has been a core feature of extension pack for many releases. With 5R5, the channel exporter now is fully aware of material streams when using the export modified textures only mode. While previously any change to a material would mark all channels associated to a material as modified. With this improvement, making a change for example to the roughness of a material node will only trigger an export of the roughness channel, saving you valuable time when iterating and tweaking your final renders. Another small addition to the channel exporter is that it now also comes preloaded with examples for post processes, such as Arnold TX Make, V-Ray TX Make, and OpenXR Make Tiled. There are many small additions and fixes included in this release, and I hope you will enjoy this free update to Mar Extension Pack 5.